we come before you. We give you thanks and praise for this day, a beautiful day, and this wonderful time for all of us to come together. We lift up to you, Grant and Madison, and and this uh, uh, new marriage that's been formed. We we want to especially give you thanks and praise for family. Um, <laughs> there's so many family members here today for generations, maybe five, I might be off on that, but we just thank you for that. And thank you for your goodness in our lives. We thank you for this food we're about to receive. Pray you bless it to our bodies and make us healthy and strong through your blessing. Pray that you bless the hands that made it. We love you, Father. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. We did it. We did it. Say amen. Amen. And now Bob is going to do the first toast. Surprise! <laughs> all right. Well, first, I want to thank all of you for coming today. Uh, I want to thank my parents. I want to thank Madison's parents. You guys did a great job. Um, I think it looks great in here. Grant, you are something. I know growing up, you and I didn't really see eye to eye on many things. Uh, we fought a lot. We never hung out. But there was one thing Mom always told us, and it was family comes first. And after everything's said and done, all that you're going to have is family. And I think I'm going to stand up here. I'm going to talk to you and you, because you're both my brothers and best friends. I love you, and I'm glad I could share this day with you. Madison, you do clean up nicely. Uh, you do look a little better than you do in your softball gear. Grant, you did well for yourself. Um, I know your dad was talking about bringing Grant into your family and how you've always been around us just as much. I mean, seven years, you've been my little sister, basically. Um, I love you as a sister. I see you as family. I always have. And I'm just proud that you're actually officially in the family. So I'll stop rambling now. Um, so here's to Grant Madison. I love you guys. Um, hi everyone. Um, my name is Brooke. So for those who don't know me, I am Madison's older sister. Um, so before starting my speech, we just wanted to thank everybody on behalf of the bride and groom and ourselves. Um, just for everyone who helped make this beautiful day come together, especially our parents. Um, and the Ailers for all their hard work um, getting this special day, the bridal party um, for supporting and joining us, and um, and everybody here today as well. Thank you so much. We know you've all played a really special role in Madison and Grant's lives, and we're really excited that you could all be here to celebrate with us today. So I'm sorry, I'm probably going to cry because I've cried every time I practice this speech. <laughs> But I'm going to start out talking about Madison. Um, so when we met, it was over 13 years ago. And we first bonded over us both going through our awkward phase together. <laughs> so Madison still had her puffy hair and her glasses. And I had my middle part and my braces. And Macy is always just as cute as can be. So <laughs> poor Madison, we gave her quite a hard time growing up with her being the middle child. Uh, Macy and I did quite a bit to Madison, so I have to bring up our best prank we ever pulled on her. Um, <laughs> I remember one time she went away on a missions trip, and Macy and I decided while she was gone, we were going to load up all of her shoes and carry all of them out of the house. We packed them all in the car, took pictures, sent them to her, and told her we were donating all of them to charity. <laughs> um, I also used to always make her sit for hours at a time so I could do her hair and her makeup. I remember once I actually made her sit there for three hours while I cornrowed her hair. She, and she was in so much pain, and it looked awful afterwards, but she still let me do it. And now I let her do my hair all the time. Um, one of our other favorite things to do to Madison, um, as soon as I could start driving, Macy and I made it a point to always lock her out of the car and drive away and make her chase us down the road. And I, I believe that, I know. If I remember correctly, the first time we did it was actually outside of Grant's house. Um, and we were picking her up. Grant was at the door watching the whole thing. 
So she, she of course, they were just starting dating. So she comes out to the car. We locked the door. We sped down the road, and we made her chase us all the way down the road. She was so mad at us after that because she was so embarrassed in front of her new boyfriend. Um, but I bring all this up about Madison just to comment on the fact that she has always been such a good sport with such a kind heart and a great sense of humor. Um, Madison, even though you're my younger sister, I have always looked up to you for your strength and your heart. Um, so I had always dreamed about having a sibling, and it was 13 years ago that I found out it was not only getting one sister, but it's getting two. And what I didn't know then is I wasn't just getting two sisters, but I was getting my two best friends. I love you guys. I'm sorry. Grant, thank you for being a part of our family for so many years, and I'm so glad I can officially call you my brother now. Um, I know Madison can be a handful, but I know you're up for it because you're a handful too. Um, I did find a poem that I wanted to share with you guys um, that just made me think of you on your special day. It's called Here's to Right Now. You're surrounded by your loved ones and all are wishing you well as you create a brand new chapter in the story that's yours to tell. We talk about the memories you have yet to make together and the moments you've already shared to be carried with you forever. But take the time to live today as your marriage begins. Look around and soak it up the moment we are in. For this is where the magic starts. When you both say your vows, you pledge to spend your lives as one because of the love you feel now. So yes, here's to a future that is bright and warm and clear, but more than that, here's to right now and what it means to be here. I know this is such an eventful day, but I just hope you guys find time to just enjoy each other on this next step in your story together. I wish you nothing but happiness, and because you love The Office, a marriage just like Jim and Pam. (laughs) I can't wait to see where married life takes you. And just saying, Chance would really like a cousin sometime soon. <laughs> and finally, best of luck in married life. You're going to need it. Nah. Is this is it on? All right, I'm so sorry. Okay, so you guys probably didn't want to hear three speeches, but you're going to. And I'm Macy, the favorite and little sister. Um... Thank you all for coming for finally the wedding day. I mean, how long have we been waiting? I don't know. Seven years. Yep. Okay. So, I'm going to read directly off this paper. They did not. I am. Okay. Um, So, typically, as the annoying little sister that I've always been, I would push Madison's buttons further and further as the day would go on. Now, obviously, she's been bigger and stronger than me. Not sure if I didn't care or I just never thought she'd use her full strength against me. But one day, I made her very angry, and she chased me down the stairs at our old house. And actually, Dad, I think this is the first time you're hearing this, so let's not get too angry. (laughs) But she chased me down the stairs, and I took a chair out of the kitchen, and I held it between us because she was going to kill me. She was. And she smacked that chair down in front of me, and I'm just saying, you got to be faster than her, Grant. (laughs) you got to be. Um... What about Grant? I've loved you since the day I met you. You were the best thing to happen to Madison. And, you know, you were the guy with the seven-year plan, and it worked. You got her. She's the best thing that's ever going to happen to you. (laughs) You just want to her. (laughs) They started dating freshman year. No, sophomore. And... together finally is just the best thing in the world and I'm a literal third party to the entire relationship so like congrats I'm here to stay <laughs> um man, I'm already crying I can't talk about Madison actually so um she's been my best friend for 18 years and even if she did try to shove me down the drain when I was a baby we still stuck together um, we have shaved the late nights and the early mornings of pushing and shoving to get ready in the bathroom. And let's not even talk about the unwillingly amount of shared clothes. Because <laughs> it's, yeah. 
But no matter how big, oh, I think I skipped a line. We've never judged. We've always loved and supported each other no matter what we'd go through. No matter how big the mistakes or how harsh the words, we continue to love each other unconditionally. We've pushed each other to be the best us as we can be. And growing up, we always shared a room. And then I felt safer when we moved into the new house when we finally had our own when I was back in the room with you. And then you came into my room and we went back to your room because you got a bigger bed. But now I finally realize that we won't have that. And that's okay because you're going to live with your husband. And I just, you're the best. I really can't. You guys, the series. <laughs> oh, wait, actually. There's more. There's more. No, no. All right, me and Brooke have prepared something special for Madison. <laughs> okay. Okay, stay here. Or? So, we're going to stay here. So, um, Madison, do you remember how, like, when we were little, we used to always sing Hannah Montana together in the car? Yeah, so it got better. This one's for you. <laughs> 